from our sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting-edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll-free at 866-262-9076. Well, hello and welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to try something that I've never tried before. And you know me, I like to test stuff out. There we go. This is the camera I'm talking about today. This is the uh, DJI Pocket 2. Now, I exclusively use this particular camera only on my kayaks. I have never ventured out uh, on the e-bike with this camera because I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, if it's gonna, you know, it's a very delicate camera. It's got a three axis gimbal up on top and uh, I'm gonna bang it right now and see and I'm hitting my handlebars right now causing the camera to move like this um, So anyway, what we're gonna do uh, this morning now I was gonna kayak this morning, but the lake was choppy and the wind was way up and Brother it is cold uh, that normally doesn't bother me on the uh, kayaking stuff, but when the lake's all chopped up and stuff like that, it's just not no fun. So anyway, hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and start. But today we're going to be looking at using the Pocket 2 on the e-bike, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, so we're going to find out. Also brought along, if you can see up here, that is the uh, GoPro Max 360, which is a 360 camera. And uh, we're going to check that out and see how that works with this bike. So anyway, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Well, being it's cold out, guys, <laughs> I brought coffee instead of water. So this is going to be a bike coffee or coffee bike pedal or something like that. Anyway, uh, but I brought coffee instead of water because, man, it is cold. Oh, man, that's hot. Whoo hoo. -hoo. So let's get going and let's see how this thing films. I'm really curious to see how it's going to handle stability and all that kind of stuff. Now one thing great about this camera, guys. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Oh, wrong one. There we go. I was in the wrong PAS. <laughs> one thing I did find out, guys. Um, with the three-axis gimbal... I'm, I'm flipping and got face tracking on, so it's going to stay stable, I hope. Just got an important email from uh, my sponsor, so hey, I'll be back in a minute. Hi right, guys, uh, we're coming up to the top side of the dog park. I do have the pocket two back on, and uh, 
What I want to do is see how it does on the gravel road down here. Because it's going to be bouncy and kind of off-roady. And I want to see how the gimbal stabilizes this shot. Because it's pretty bouncy. I'm going to look at some footage once I get down at the bottom of the hill here. I want to see uh, if my 360 bar is in the way of the camera and picking it up. I'm not sure, so we're going to find that out here in a bit. Uh. Okay. Couldn't figure out which way that got. Man, look at this water, guys. We're going to go right. This is why I didn't go out today. We're going to go right to the base of the water line and... <laughs> right here, guys, is why I did not go out kayaking today. The wind is up. The chop is up. It is nasty. There is no boats on the water at all. Not even regular fishing boats. That was a good decision. So anyway, guys, we're going to go up on a, a picnic table here and uh, take a look at some of this footage and see uh, if this bar thing is in the way. And I don't think it is. I can't see my fingers, so I guess it's okay. But we're going to check that out just to make sure. But man, look at this water. Ooh, it's ugly. Hi, right, guys. Uh, I got the uh, Pocket 2 on. And one thing great about the Pocket 2 that the other cameras can't do is the tracking feature. And you can see it's tracking me. As I walk around, it's going to stay with me. And that's one of the great features, especially if you're riding with some friends and stuff like that. And you want to draw a tracking box over uh, the person that you want to film. And then the Pocket 2 will track them. And as you can see, it's tracking me wherever I go and that's what makes it so cool. Now I do have the combo pack which gives me the microphone uh, which has a pretty good range. I think it's like 60, 80 feet, something like that. I, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. But that's one of the big features I like um, is the tracking feature and it's just tracking me wherever I go. So if I'm doing a narration or something like that and I'm talking about certain things um, and moving around that's why I like the Pocket 2 so much, especially for my kayaking stuff. Uh, when I'm at a location that's really cool or I want to go to a spot that's really kind of cool, I can set the Pocket 2 up on a tripod and then walk up to that location and it'll track me the whole time that I'm doing that. So I did review some of the footage and found it to jello a little bit when it hit the bumps on that gravel road. I saw the jello effect. I mean, it wasn't horrible. But that's something that uh, I have to be cognizant of if I mount this on the bike. If I'm in some really rough terrain, that footage is kind of going to not be usable because of the jelloing effect of the, the gimbal and everything else trying to lock itself in in one location. And it's hard to do when it, the, the bike is bouncing, moving, and all that kind of stuff. So that's the one thing I did find out. You get a jello effect if you get in some off-road conditions. What I'm going to do is test out the distance and zoom feature in this camera. So I'm going to go back here and let it do its thing. It's still tracking me as I walk down there. Almost lost me. Now I'm going to zoom in and it lost the tracking. So I'm going to zoom in now. All right, I'm at 3x zoom right now, and I'm a pretty good distance away from the camera. And uh, what I'm gonna do is leave it in 3x and see how the autofocus does um, on the camera itself. So I'm gonna walk back towards it. It's still tracking me. And again, it's in 3x now. This is 3x zoom, and I'm almost up on top of the camera. I'm about I'm about five feet away. Now I'm going to go back to one. That's 1.1. 1 .1. I'm going to take it all the way to one zero. And that's where it is at one zero with no zoom. So you can see 
if you zoom in, I hate to, to have you guys see me work this with the cell phone, but that's the only way I can do it. Um, but you can see how well this works. Anyway, I'm gonna walk over to that fence over here and see how the tracking mode does. Now again, I'm in 3X zoom. The tracking is doing well. Uh, I'm not sure about, oh, the audio bars are still showing that it's really doing good. Now I'm a long way away from the bike, guys. As you can see here, I am all the way to the fence. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna take it off of 3X zoom so you can see how far I am away. And I still have audio. And that was one of the things I wanted to test. Now I'm probably, I don't know, uh, 60 feet, 70 feet maybe. Okay, so anyway guys, hey, the, the 3X zoom and testing out the mic distance really paid off. And I mean, I went all the way over to that tree. Let me get off tracking and point the camera. I went all the way over to this tree over here and by that light pole. And that's, it's probably about 100 feet away. So I'm gonna have to check and I'm gonna check and I'll put it in this while I'm talking about this, I'll put what the range of the microphone is because I'm really not sure. So anyway, hey, we're gonna continue our ride and we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Well, guys, hey, uh, you're going to hear a lot of wind in this one because I have the Pocket 2 shut off right now. Uh, I'm using the GoPro Max 360 right now, and uh, the audio is not going to be that great. So bear with it as we go. It, uh, we are at Northeast Regional Park here in Davenport. Um, you've heard me talk about this place a lot. Uh, it's one of my test areas for kayaking is where I was this morning uh, before I decided not to kayak. Uh, the wind was too high and the chop was too great. So I decided uh, not to run. It's supposed to be this way all week. So I won't be getting any kayaking in until next week, unfortunately. So uh, we'll take the e-bike out instead and go enjoy. It's nice out here. What I got to do is I'm going to modify this mount and I might just do it right here. I'm going to stop recording here and uh, modify this mount to where I can push it out a little bit more. And uh, we're going to test that out right now. So, hey, we'll be back in a minute. I modified the mount to where it came out like this. And this will allow me to get some scrolling work in and not pick up that camera. And I'm going to see how this works, and uh, we'll check it out and see what's going on. All right, guys, uh, what I did is I pushed that thing out a little bit, and it's having, I think the sun is causing my tracking to go a little bit crazy, but it'll settle down in a minute. There, it's tracking me now. I got the sun right behind me, which is not good for photography, but pushing that thing out allows me to um, play with some scrolls and if I get into some hard turns and I'm tracking a subject it would have ran into my 360 mount and I wanted to change that out so we're gonna see how that works out Good morning so anyway hey guys I hope you're really enjoying this video uh, as much as I do bringing them to you uh, I always enjoy you guys coming along and uh because i'm always trying out new things and trying different stuff out and then share that with you guys now i know i can use the uh, uh i gotta wait for what's your face to get done talking 
that's my uh, GPS telling me how far I've gone so far and all that kind of stuff like that and average miles per hour and all that crazy stuff so anyway as I was saying um, it's the first time I've used the uh, pocket 2 on the e-bike because I was really leery about doing that guys I was really kind of nervous about it because you know it's a, it's a fragile camera compared to a GoPro because of the three axis gimbal mounted on top but it jellos a little bit uh, so that's not a good thing I have three cameras today I got the Max uh, GoPro 11 and of course the Pocket 2 and we are just about at the back side of the long point of the ride this is where I'll do my turnaround and start heading back so we're gonna stop recording for right now and uh, we'll be back a little bit later well, like I said guys hey I'm uh, moving this thing out uh, will allow me to do back scrolling like this if I want to check out this lake for instance and say I want to ride around this lake and keep that all in frame you can see how I can do that now where I couldn't do that before because the 360 mount was in the way and this way I can get some pretty interesting footage I could use a scroll wheel or paddle uh, if I wanted to do that but on the bicycle that's not a smart move and even on the on the bike using the, the screen is not really a good move so morning so anyway we're, we're just uh, shooting some general footage here I wanted to see how this will work I'm gonna stop up here now the one thing I did find out if you want to make any adjustments it's best to stop your bike I wanted to do is raise this up and cock it out just a little bit let's say right about there that gives me a good field of view you can see the sidewalk that I'm riding on but it still gives some side view and an up shot let me give it a little more up oh that's probably too much oh too much I'm using gloves that have this sensor finger in them and sometimes it works sometimes it don't anyway so let's try this again Ooh, should get some jelloing on that one but that's the one thing I did find ah, you do get a jello effect when you hit bumps now that ain't cool and I'm learning how to play with this to get the, the footage that I want when I'm using it on the e-bike because you know with the GoPro it's fixed this way here I can kind of maneuver the gimbal around to get the effect that I want and then when I want to go back center you tap the MIMO center screen right here and now it's recentered and now if I want to bring it to me it brings it right back in play and uh, that wasn't that much to do on the bike because doing some of this stuff I got two big dogs coming my way uh, this could be fun anyway hey guys uh, we're gonna <laughs> get around these big ass dogs because uh, they don't like bikes and uh, we will go from there so hey we'll be back in a minute
All right, guys, uh, we are going to wrap up this episode of Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures, and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me. I actually had to find out if the Pocket 2 would successfully work on an e-bike. And uh, no, it jellos way, way, way too much, so stay with your GoPro. Now, the comparison I did today um, in a couple of, of shots was using the... Uh, GoPro Max 360 in 360 mode and running the exact same footage using uh, the Pocket 2. But it was a successful event, had to make a couple of uh, field adjustments out in the field and we are now back where we started uh, now 15 miles later. So anyway, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed these type of things because you know me, I like to to dabble around and, and try different things out to see if they work. Way too much jello effect in the footage, uh, so that wouldn't work well. Uh, I would recommend staying with your GoPro, uh, but they're designed for that kind of craziness anyway. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next one.